YouTube, hello friends and people in virtual world, welcome back to Baggy's TMD. Smash that like button and hit subscribe. Um, we're back again with the uh, Hor Hurricane build. Hopefully today, uh, we can have no issues with the neighbours. Uh, <laughs> all I've done in between the parts, uh, between the last part and this one, is I've primed up all this section ready. Uh, inside the uh, cockpit and just prime these few bits and bobs together as well and found out what colours we need. So hopefully today we'll paint these bits, get all that bit assembled and placed in and hopefully we can get the uh, two cockpit halves together and drying. So that's going to probably take overnight to dry. So yeah, we'll crack on with this. Uh, and all this has got to be silver, I think. Let's just double check on the page before... Yeah, all that section's got to be silver. So, there is the section. Let me get my little paint pots. The little beery paint pots. There we go. I probably should have put my torch on this. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. We can see. Let's give us a, uh, a good shake. Little dab of paint. And where's my little blushy brush gone there it is oh, we're going to be better or do we go for the big fat one just slosh paint everywhere so yeah just going to paint all this area silver looks like it don't matter if we go over a bit that uh shouldn't be silver and should be uh should be uh black or whatever cut uh, or camo color we can we're going to prime before we paint anyway, so it'll hide all this if it's uh, in the wrong place. Just get a slosh of paint everywhere. Uh, only thing is we need to leave, looking at the instructions, uh, see if I can get you sort of in some degree of... Uh, the only problem with painting it black, it makes it really difficult. So yeah, we need to leave the top of the control... Um, not the control arm, what's that called now? The joystick, that's it. We need to keep the top of that as black so we do that so i say it's a bit hard because it's black cameras never pick uh black up very easy Start some paint on there there we go Get it out of it. wang some paint in all these sections, like I say before, it don't matter if you don't get everything, you ain't going to see a fat lot of this cockpit, to be, brutal, to be brutally honest. Yeah, not. There we go. Let's get this little bit of paint down this end as well, so I don't know how far we're going to see, but let's get a bit of a scrub of paint. It ain't going uh, to work too much. It ain't. There we go. So that's all paint up silver. Like I say, we've left the... Oops. As I go and put a splodge of paint on it. That'll be all right. So we've painted all that. Let's bring you in nice and close to the camera. Let it focus, which he's not going to do. How about there? Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. So you can see, paint all that silver now. So we'll put that to one side to let that dry while we paint all the other sections. Because this bit, the next bit, we've got the uh, pilot seat. They're all a few colours. We'll paint them on the sprue and then we can leave it to dry. And all that good jazz. So that section needs to be black, which we didn't paint black. We painted that. Uh, we painted that the wrong colour. Oopsie. Uh, I'll go outside and paint that in a minute. I don't believe in painting painting bits if you've got um if you've got spray paint. <laughs> uh, where is the Seat gone. Uh, got bits everywhere again. So right, I'm just, uh, I was just doing myself a nice uh, GR1 um, Harrier, and somehow I've managed to lose the cockpit. So I'm hunting around now for the cockpit glass for it. But that's a starter kit. That's an advanced starter kit that is, which is a bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'll message Hornby or well, Fix if I can get a new canopy for it. But I'm hoping I can find it because it's really annoying that is losing a canopy. Where is the? There it is. I found it. I found it. So according to the instructions, my pilot seat's got to be silver as well. So we'll give that 
slosh of paint. I've painted this grey purely because you just give it a nice base for everything else the grey did. So it don't matter that it's, we ain't painted this black for the uh, for the pop of the colour. You get a bit of a contrast, and I'm out of shot as normal. There we go. <laughs> Start as we mean to go on. Yeah, like I say, I hope you're all enjoying this, folks. Yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite different. This is actually uh, building one while recording at the same time. It is. I really should have put my torch on my phone as well, so we could see a bit better. It is a bit dark. Let me see if I can put a torch on my phone. Hold on a minute. Uh, do, do, do. Where are my options? I'm just going to pause for a second. Nope, I can't put the torch on while I'm recording. That's a that's a little monkey, that is. Uh, yeah, that's how I got a bit of a shadow sort of there. <laughs> it makes it a bit difficult for everyone. Right, so that's the cockpit seat painted. And the back piece needs to be like a browny colour, it said. Br uh, brick, but I haven't got a brick, so we'll go for... Uh, a bark colour Citel paint that'll do. Let's give us a bit of a shake. Like I say, it's not going to be, it's not going to be accurate. I, don't fuss me if it ain't quite the right colour. Who, who looks into the cockpit of the one seventy second scale hurricane? Look at the outside of them and go, oh, that looks nice. That's about it. There we go. That's good enough. Yeah, we're going to need that bit. It's just that bit then. Looks like, look at this. this is a base colour anyway. This Citel stuff. So it's almost like a primer anyway. We'll get, uh, we'll get a bit of a thicker brush because I don't want to clog. A bit of a crappier brush. I ain't fussed about clogging. Clogging it up with this paint. Let's get a wipe off of this. Stross some of that on it. Uh, I can't remember if I've got to do the back as well, but we'll do the back. Dee -dee 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 -dee. There we go. Uh, so that bit painted. All else we've got to do. See, got to do the little cockpit connection next. Uh, 78 is green and 58 is dark grey. Right, so now we've got to do, let's just give my brush a quick wash off. What about washing brushes this bit is now? <laughs> Talk about watching paint dry. That's what you're doing, unfortunately, folks. Watching the old, old paint dry. Right, so we've done the seat. We've. I ah, know, I've done the wrong section, you know, I've just painted that. That's why I should always read the instructions. <laughs> Where's it gone? Uh, there it is. I don't know, it's somewhere. That's why I should always read the instructions, folks. Because we should have painted that bit brown. <laughs> Yeah, well, slot some paint on this, and instead, that should have been painted black. I don't think much of these brushes. I found these off just lying around in me uh, stash. The Humbrol Pal Palpo brushes they ain't much get up. They ain't. I quite like Humbrol's flat brushes. The flat brushes are nice. I do use the. Uh, oops, my hat shot again. There we go. Same old, same old. I do quite like the flat brushes, the uh, green ones. Them ones are quite nice. But these pa Palpo brushes are, yeah, <laughs> they ain't much got. They're a bit uh, bit fluffy. All right, that's that bit dry now. We've got the right piece painted. Oh, you can have a view of my arm. Uh, so while we do that. There we go. Right, so inside the cockpit. Top part needs to be green. Bottom part needs to be grey. Grey. That's not actually a bad grey, to be fair. But we'll slosh some more paint. Slosh some more paint. We'll go for a green. Uh, did I get a green out? I think I did. I think I found the green. White, see grey. Uh, what's that over there? Oh, dark green, that'll be. It's meant to be a cockpit green, but like I say, don't force me. As long as it's... Green's green, you ain't gonna see you ain't gonna see majority of this detail on painting anyway. Oops, I'm gonna snap that part off. That would not be good. It'll be alright by the time we finish with it. 
this attacker paint they've got a little ball bearing in that's what you can hear it's quite good you do have to get a bloody good shake before it does anything you only need a drop of this a little drop goes a long way with this stuff i've started doing the um i started doing some bits to the uh harrier with that green these bits here it's quite a nice washed out uh, washed out green i quite like it it's like a very used green this looks quite nice so on this top section has got to be no sorry no sorry yeah. top section's got to be green so just this little bit in this area there so it's paint a bit of i say it don't matter if it's going to be a bit washed out but that's all right just looks like it's wearing wearing out a little bit The hard part is getting the two cockpit halves together. <laughs> That's always fun. You, sort of, you see you've got some loop recesses where everything fits. There's a tiny little hole there as well where it all fits as well. So they do go in. It's just they're always a bit tight, these uh, cockpit halves. I always have problems getting the cockpit halves together, and I've made no end of models now. I have. There we go. Let's get that and it's got a paint in that bottom section grey then. Get a little brush off. Wash. All we're going to do today is wash brushes, I think. And we need to paint that all a bit black. I'll just give that a minute, it'll be dried. I mean, I've got some black. I've got some black Citel paint, actually. Is that it? That's a wash. I thought I've got some black paint somewhere. Let's have a quick look at my stash. Drums. Blue. Some black somewhere. Colored black, black. There we go. We'll use that in a minute. Right now, I need a bit of grey. I've got some dark sea grey. That'll do. A little bit of dark sea grey just for the bottom. So we're just going to do this little bottom section. Obviously, when you're doing it, take a bit more time than what I'm doing with the with the painting, and giving it a bit a bit more time to dry before you go on with another colour. There we go. There we go. Looks all right. There we go, so green top, grey bottom. And we've just got a white for our first part to dry that we've done wrong. We're not out of room now for wet, uh, wet pieces of sprue. Right, let's wash the brush off again. And has that bit dried yet? Yes, yeah, I'm surprised now how quick the Citel paint's dry actually. Here it is. Uh, where do we put that black? There it is. Another little tub. Oh, that's very runny. <laughs> is this going to come out any good? That is the question. There we go. That'll do. To be fair, it might give it quite a nice effect having a bit of a brown underneath it as a bit of a base coat or we might not even be able to tell the difference oops i'm out i'll keep going out of shots because i just woke up i come in from work i was like oh i must record my video and then nodded off on the sofa <laughs> for about an hour the joys of going back to work after christmas eh? so yeah that's that painted i think we're all painted now i've got to put a transfer on this as well but we'll show you how to do that in a minute we will the pause here. Give everything half hour to dry because it's quite warm in the flat at the moment. And then we'll get on with putting the transfer on it. Uh, we'll be using a bit of uh, micro salt and a bit of micro set, which just helps the transfers set well onto the model. So we'll use a bit of that to put the uh, transfer on. Uh, and then we'll uh, put it all together and stick it all in the cockpit. So, yeah, like I say, pause it now. Just let everything dry, folks. 
Right, all the paint's now dried. So what we're going to do now is get transfer one and just put it onto the uh, control panel just there. Uh, when I remember where I put the uh, decals. Ah, they're in the box still. What's keeping them in the box? Should have kept that glazing in the box, really. It's somewhere. We'll find it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as you see, obviously, it's one in a square. And if you remember, that's telling us which to transfer. So, one is that one. And then that just goes onto that bit there. Yeah, so too many little pots of paint floating around there. It's what my workbench looks like in the end. It just gets more and more untidier. It does. So yeah, all we're going to do is scarf all it off. There, there. Them some little what's it? Yeah. Also be careful because we've got a lot of little decals. If you're doing a starter kit, you'll have that decal, them decals, that. You won't have all the little tiny bits and bobs. You ain't. So what we're going to do now, you can just see here, I've just got a little bowl of warm water. Just helps the transfers come off that a little bit easier. Obviously, be careful with knives and all that jazz. Don't stab yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to pop that into some warm water just to let it, just to let it loosen up. While that's doing that, we will cut out a couple of bits. I remember where I've put all the little bits. So I've put them over here. So we're going to want that bit. Yeah, I want that bit. I'm going to put my side cutters. There they are. Put them back in. Put them back away. So. It'd be best to come from that direction because there's a little tab we don't want to cut off. One there, one there, and one there. Ooh, there we go. Let's pop that over there. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about the transfer. <laughs> I haven't. So just get a bit of fire. It don't matter if, about the paint on these bits. You ain't gonna. You ain't going to see these edges anyway because they're going to be uh, going up against the um, cockpit. Let's get that a bit of a bit of a sand off. We're going to want that. We're going to want the cockpit seat, which is just there. Trim that off. Bits of sprue everywhere at the moment. I'm going to move that Harry out because that is in my way. I'm going to move the clamp <laughs> and put them all back over here. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, so looking at the instructions, the seat has two tiny little marks where it sits. It's on, supposedly. Is it there? Is it there? Ah. Yes, this is very hard. There's a couple of tiny... Let's put something behind it white. There's a couple of tiny little tabs just there. And the seat has got a tiny little recess just on the back of the seat. You know, it's right there, just where it sits on. It's very hard to see. See that? That minute. So what we're going to do is put a couple of little dab of glue on both them tabs. We have to dab on the two back ones. A little bit more on them ones, and then very carefully plonk it on <laughs> without it moving. There we go. We'll put that to one side just to dry and see if it's transfer so that's been in a couple of minutes now you can see it's just just it's a little bit stiff moving so we'll just get another couple of minutes and then we can pop it on that bit there we can so looks like i should get a couple of minutes we'll just uh put a little bit of microsol 
on that as well. Uh, not Microsoft, Microsoft. I can never remember which one's which. Use a bit of the red one. Uh, I don't write the Humbrol brushes. Oh, that's not Humbrol brush. Where's the Humbrol brushes gone? Ah, there's one. No, that's not one. That's not one. Where did all the Humbrol brushes? There we go. The starter brushes I don't write, but they're useful for <laughs> just dipping into this stuff because it's a bit, it's a bit pongy, and it can knack your brushes up. So I don't mind knackering up an old Humbrol brush. Because ain't that what they ain't that good. They're all right. They're all right as a starter brush, but if you start doing some serious modelling, you, you want some decent brushes. You do. So what we're gonna do now is let me just grab a cocktail stick. Oh no, not them ones because they're on. They've got things on them. So all we're gonna do is just line the uh, decal up. And just slide it off the backing paper. And just with a cocktail stick, let's bring you in a little bit closer so you can sort of see what's going on. We're just going to manipulate the transfer so it's in the right place. There we are. There we go. We'll just let that time, give that a little bit of time to set. That's how, that's how easy it is. Like I say, when we start doing the um, transfers on the outside, I'll show you a bit better with a micro solid set. I will just give that a minute to uh, give that transfer a minute to dry. Right, so we've given this time to dry the uh, cockpit, uh, not the cockpit, sorry, the control, not the control panel. What's it called now? An instrument panel, that's it. Be very ginger though. Just in case we do any damage to it. We don't want to do that. There we go. Snip that off there. I don't think we're going to have time today to uh, put the two fuse large off. So what are we up to? 22 minutes. So it's going to be about half hour of this video. I don't want to make the videos too long if I can help it. Or else you're all going to get bloody bored of me. Yabbering on. So now we've just got to uh, attach it to this piece. Um, it's very hard to show you. If you carefully look at the instructions, there's a couple of little tabs that you just have to put it on. It is a bit of a rubbish way of doing it, to be brutally honest, how um, Airfix wanted to do this. It's very tight and very, very awkward. So I'd advise you to study the instructions for doing this bit. I'll say it's, it's very awkward to do this. It is. So I've got to put three blobs of glue on it and then hold it. In fact, I'm just going to scrape the paint off this paint off these little bits just to give us a bit more of a chance. I'm going out completely out of shot. I do apologise. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna see this bit anyway, so it don't matter if we just take this. Little bit of paint off. It doesn't. Let me study the instructions again. Yeah, the little tab just goes in. It just goes in. So, big splodgy glue. Big splodgy glue. Big splodgy glue. Let's take uh, this very gingerly. It sort of goes at that sort of angle. Right. I'm just going to uh, bring it a bit out of shot just so I can blow on it to make the glue dry. <laughs> That's sort of in place now. Like I say, I might just have a little bit of a tweak of this because it's a bit awkward. I might just have to double check a couple of things on it, but it's it's holding. It'll be all right by the time we finish with it. I'll just put a little bit more glue on it. I'll do a pod. I'll keep going out of shot today. I'm going terrible today. I'm not much of a YouTuber, am I? I'll keep, uh, all my pictures keep going out of shot. I'm wondering if it'll just tag onto there. The thing is, you have to bend it to get it into the recess. Let me just put that very gingerly down 
So because you've got like the two edges, uh, the back goes up there. And looking at the instructions, the control panel sort of sits in that sort of gap. So it, need, it needs to be quite square, sort of off square. There's like a little bit of a, a recess there where the uh, control panel goes in. And then there's a recess down there with that little tab where the back section goes together. And then obviously you bring the two R's together. But like I say, I was hoping to do it today, but we're running out of time. I don't want to make it too long so it'll be like 45 minutes else so yeah we're gonna leave it there i'm gonna let that dry might have a little bit of a tweak of it off camera i might I'll double check that it's gonna go in all right uh before we come back but i'll see you later guys